So somebody gave me this bike. It's uh, it's a, uh, the motor is on the front of the wheel. It's only a 24 volt bike. I'm sure I can switch it over to 36 or four, maybe 48. I would have to change the module in it, or sorry, the controller in it. And the two batteries. The only reason why they got rid of the bike, the two batteries are supposed to go in here. The reason why they got rid of it is because um, the batteries are dead. Completely, completely dead. But I'm going to see if I can bring this thing back to life. So this is one of the batteries from the bike. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is because my my 60 volt uh, e-bike uh, during the winter it was sitting outside. I did charge it every month. The batteries it has five batteries, same as these. Um, it doesn't go as far now. Before I used to go like 60 kilometers distance now it goes maybe two kilometers three kilometers the most and the batteries start dying so i want to try it with these batteries from this bike here first see if this method method works and i've charged these batteries to full capacity there's two of them to full capacity and um but letting it sit for a day or two they lose voltage so this one now is that I hope you guys can see that it's at 8 volts so it's lost its voltage um, it's not able to keep its charge so I'm gonna open this up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a knife here like these batteries are sealed but you can open them there's a little uh, gap right here on each side but they glue them they glue this cap down so if you run a knife hopefully I can get this battery open mind you I've never done this before but from what I've seen on YouTube this is supposed to work. Well, unless the battery is completely, completely shot. Right? So now once you got the cover off, you can see the blue here that they put. Uh, I don't know why my, this one has paper towel or Kleenex or something around. I think it's to absorb any leakage. Anyway, we're going to take this off. And there's these little plastic or rubber covers on here. You guys can see that. Let me look down in there. And this thing looks like it's completely dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to open all of them. And we're going to fill them up with uh, distilled water. Try to put some distilled water in there. I'll put up a video on how I made this, this distilled water later on. So I recommend you guys get a syringe instead of one of these droppers. I've been here for... Oh over five minutes anyway close to ten minutes trying to fill this one up here this one is completely completely empty and it's still not full so I wouldn't recommend one of these droppers I would recommend a syringe of some kind so I'm gonna continue doing this I'll probably be here for I don't know another 20 minutes filling this up I don't have a syringe on hand 
There you go. That one's full. Now I'm going to go on to this one and then come back to that one again. But yeah, I'll probably be here for a while filling this up <clears throat> with this little thing. So we're going to check the voltage uh, of each cell. Obviously there's six cells, right? 12 volts. And I'm just going to check the voltage here on this one. Doesn't even have one volt. On this one that was completely empty, it's got 6.62 volts, 7 volts. This one is 1 volt, almost 2. This one is at 3. They're all uneven. But this one here is the one that's... Uh, Yeah, this is, doesn't even have one bolt in it. I'm going to wait another 15 minutes and see if it absorbs more water. And then uh, try to refill them again and see how that, uh, what happens there. Like these batteries here, I looked up for my e-bike. Five battery pack for my e-bike is $550 US. So these things really aren't cheap. They're almost as much as a car battery each. Like they're a about a hundred bucks each, seventy to a hundred bucks each U.S. So they're not cheap. Uh, if I have to wait even one hour for for this thing to absorb the water and it comes back to full charge and and keep the charge, hey, it's worth it, right? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. They're all full now. I'm going to charge it up. Um, I have this charger here I bought. And I'll be honest with you, I love this charger. This charger can charge any type of battery that's out there. Um, up to uh, 48 volts and up to 7 amps. So you can adjust the amps, the voltage and everything. And when you connect it, it will actually tell you if you got the right setting for that battery or not. I love it. I'm not advertising the, the charger. I'm just letting you know I love the charger. The only, I think I paid uh, $26 with the shipping for this. The only downside about this charger is it doesn't come with a power supply. So I just used um, an old laptop charger that I used to have. The laptop was no good anyway, so I used that to be able to charge it. So we're going to try charging it. Uh, I forgot to plug it in. Hold on a second. Yeah, 12 volts PBA batteries. Um, I have it set at 2 amps. Uh, I'm not going to charge it any higher. I'm going to go... Um, maybe we can go... 3 amps. Let me set it for 3 amps. Actually, 2.5 amps. So right now it's checking if, the, if it's the right battery, and it is, so it's charging. Right now it's at was at 9 volts, so it'll charge. It actually has a nice fan over here so we can cool off. So we're going to let that charge and see if the battery comes, uh, will hold its charge afterwards. Cool? Cool. So, while that's charging, um, I just want to let you guys know, I've had batteries. Uh, see, this charger here, uh, I think every smart charger will let you know that when you try to put a battery that's completely, completely shot on the charger, the charger will not charge it. Whether it's a 12 volt, 1.5 volt, six volt whatever it will not it, it just won't this charger actually tells you that it's not um, the battery is defected or whatever but what i how to get around that is what i do is i get a a laptop uh charger which puts out about eight eighteen point five volts 19 
19 volts, something like that, close to 20 volts. Um, and I hook that up to the battery. I hook it up to the battery and overcharge it for about a minute. Meaning, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I've never gone over a minute. I don't know if it's going to do any good for the battery because I'm afraid the battery's going to blow up. So I only did that for one minute. So I hooked that up to the battery for one minute, take it off, hook up the regular charger to it, and it starts charging. So don't throw those batteries away. Just put some higher power to it. If you're going over maybe 20 volts, if it's a 12 volt battery and you're going over, if you've got a power supply that's over 20 volts, I would just keep it under maybe for 10 to 30 seconds, that's about it. And then hook up your regular charger and it will start charging. Whether the battery is going to be good at the end, after the charge or not, if it can hold the charge, that, that zapping doesn't, doesn't help that process. But it will help your charger starting to be able to charge the battery, if that makes any sense. Cool? Cool. Well, I hope you guys can see this. It's, um, it tells you it's been 37 minutes on charge, and, um, it's at 13.64 volts. And obviously it tells you PB, uh, 6 cells. So, uh, yeah, 37 minutes and we're still going. It's going to be about an hour. So, here's the outcome of this. What I did, uh, I ended up screwing the battery up. Even worse than what it was. Um, I charged it. I, when I got tired, I went to bed. In the morning, I came back. The battery was completely, completely dead. So I tried to put this charger on it, my charger, on it, and this is what it told me. This is what it tells me. battery check low so the charger will not even start charging the battery no matter on how many amps I put it at so what I what happened was uh, as I told you guys earlier usually when I do with a battery like this that the charger is not able to charge it I zap it for about a minute two minutes the most uh, with an 18 volt um, battery power supply and I put it on here leave it on here for a minute uh, usually I don't leave it on for more than a minute because I don't know what damage it's gonna do but I left this one on for one minute still the same thing happened so I left it on for two minutes same thing happened so while the 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 um, laptop uh, charger was on here I hooked up this charger to it and then disconnected the other one and then this charger started going but i let it charge for now to be honest with you i've been do, trying to fix this battery for now three days now zapping it unzapping it whatever adding water and um let it charge for about uh right now i can't it won't display but it was displayed, I think, four and a half hours. I charged it for, and then I took the charger off, let, let it sit for an hour. It was starting to get a little warm. It actually is still warm. Uh, let, let it sit for an hour, and the battery is completely dead. And I mean, it's showing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll, I'll let, I'll tell you, even if you can't see it. Down to 7.5 volts. 
So I ended up even messing this battery up more than what it was. At least before it had some voltage in it and I was able to use... This is a deep cycle battery. So it's for electric bikes and everything. But at least the way it was before, I would have been able to use it for little motors um, and, and that. But right now I'm not able to use it for anything. So I don't know. I, I just did what I saw out there on YouTube on videos. Uh, I'm not saying that they're wrong or anything. Maybe another battery uh, will work. I'm not going to try it on my other one until I get... Um, I don't think water is the solution for this. I think we need to get some battery acid. So I'm going to try to get some battery acid and then do my other battery. So this one here is a complete fail. Whatever, um, adding water and uh, charging it and whatever will not bring it. Not this one anyway. Maybe if I would try another one, maybe it would work. But I doubt it. Because like I said, all I ended up doing with this one is make it worse. So I don't think it's going to help. Uh, anyway. Cheers. This is a failure, and uh, this battery now is garbage. I'm not going to mess up my other one until I get uh, some battery acid. As soon as I get some battery acid, I will try it with the battery acid and put another video up on that. In the meantime, guys, please check out my um, website at nimbusprojects.com and support the website. Uh, even if you don't want to hang around or whatever, just sign up and at least you'll be supporting in a little way from that. Thanks a lot. Cheers.